All right, folks, we've got the most unique concept yet on Atlanta Eats right here in Woodstock, Georgia. What happens when you marry food trucks and craft beer? Well, we're going to find out. We've got over 50 craft beers per month. We've got a different food truck every night. So I can't wait to check this out. Let's go check out the truck and the tap at Truck and Tap. across the barbershop, I bought it. I didn't really know what to do with it. <laughs> I, I happened to know Mitch from real estate. I called up Mitch and I said, yeah, I think I got a place for a food truck. And he came over the next day and said, we can do a food truck every day here. Oh, wow. Truck and Tap is a constantly rotating menu. Uh, we have 50 different beers, unique beers we bring in every week, 20 different food trucks every month, always something new to try. Customers come in, what we always tell them is there's no wrong way to do Truck and Tap. If you're hungry, Go see the food truck, they're gonna take care of anything you need down there. When you get thirsty, come see us at the bar. We'll take care of you there. You can get a flight of beers, okay. um, which is four tastings. For you to write down a number oh. of whichever flight you wanted to okay. try. But this is a good way to, to test it out, to see what they've got, That's see what right. my favorites are gonna be. Oh, look at that, how the presentation's perfect. There we go. All right, let's cheers. Good luck. We have right now 15 to 18 trucks fully approved to be in our rotation. Atlanta is in its infancy as far as a food truck community, but it's becoming more stabilized all the time. When places like Truck and Tap are opening two more, we have plans to open maybe five more. So we create a lot of stabilization, a lot of opportunities to vend for them. What's one of your favorite trucks? Well, this es Espetada is very good. Taste of Maine. I've never had their pizza. Taste of Maine. Perhaps Serap is another good one. It's Dominic's. I'm from New York, so I love oh, the pizza. Yeah. Some finished products here. So what you have what here is a, is a Neapolitan pizza right here with fresh okay. mozzarella, tomato, fresh basil, a little bit of sauce, some garlic and oil. So talk about the relationship between Dominic's New York Pizza and Truck and Tap. I'll get an email or a phone call from Zach who has become more of a friend and I'll say, well, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? <laughs> so I'll say, right, you know what? All right, this is the pizza that we're going to create for this Thursday. And then he pairs it with that beer. See, there is no Truck and Tap and there is no Dominic's. It's one. It's, it's an amazing relationship because, you know, we serve the food, uh -huh. they got the drinks. When we're finished, pack up and go and they can carry on. Yeah. It's a perfect marriage. Absolutely. Yep. Well, I'm going to make it work. Yep. There we go. You gotta get the beef oh, in the mouth. Wow. You gotta get the beef in. That is fantastic. So, yeah. so espetada is basically it's meat cooked on skewers, okay. and we do beef, pork, chicken, and, and chicken wings. My husband, he's in touch with the app, and he's the one that knew like what was going on today and what was on tap. And there's a, um, an app, uh, Instagram, and they do let you know what's being featured and when. I check either the website, but I'm also I also get the email alerts. Nice. So I just check on the email, see what's going on. Sometimes they announce new trucks, yeah. and that's like really exciting. barbecue pit master he's from Canton Georgia how did you how did you get involved with the partnership with truck and tap we were at a BP station across the highway yeah. and Cliff Kreider showed up and said hey I'd like to try some barbecue I had $25 worth of food for lunch I just kept going back to his truck <laughs> and he told me about truck and tap he goes would you be interested I said I'm in wow. the kitchen sink it's got barbecue beans mac and cheese oh, wow. all in a bowl what are you gonna try you know, I'm gonna get the kitchen sink the ki oh it's actually called the chick it's called the kitchen I thought you were just saying, okay, I got it. And I figure if I make a little bit of a mess, you're fine. The messier, the better, right? They'll order that time and time again. This will change their life. It will. You know, I expect 
acted kind of just like a, a local bar kind of scene, uh -huh. and uh, it was totally not that at all. I brought my grandparents. Oh, okay. Somewhere where I can bring my grandparents. Awesome. You know it's family friendly. Uh, seems like there are no strangers in here. No, everybody know? knows each other. Yeah. I mean, like, look, it's all open and it's like air flowing. It's it's great. It's cool to see people from Buckhead, you know, who want to now come outside the perimeter. Um, it was it's unique. A tap which gives you all kinds of beers on a rotating tap, mm -hmm. and they bring in new food. So every night's a new menu, and if you're into food trucks, it's a chance yeah. to sample something different basically every night. I can tell you I've never had a bad food truck since I've been here. I've never had a bad beer since I've been here. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's a local hangout. Uh, people can get a different beer or a different piece of food almost every day of the week. I think it's like a symbiotic relationship where both people benefit out of it. We go after the best food trucks in Atlanta, creating the, the most creative food. You know, it's a new industry. They're looking for new places to bend their products, show off their culinary muscle. I think it's the first purpose-built restaurant based around a mobile food kitchen. When you come to Truck and Tap, you're not going to get a, you know, a B-list food truck. You're going to get fantastic food at a great price, fast friendly service, plus great beer. Salute. <laughs>